Chad, welcome. I don't want to get into the macro. We did that with Chris. Let's get a little more micro, try to help some of our audience make money. In fact, he did say, while he's negative overall, they liked health care. You like a name like j and J. I I got to imagine that just sort of plays into that same trend of a country that we're a fifth of our economy. A fifth is now health care. Absolutely. And if you look at some of the names that are consistent through our equity portfolios, our equity team does favor healthcare. So there's a couple of names, J&J, AbbVie, another where we like the fundamentals of the, the companies themselves. We like the products that they have to offer. You know, J&J is going through a change next year, focusing more on its device and pharma. And then AbbVie has some really good drugs out now. And you can see their sales pipeline really driving some of those individual drug names. So healthcare is one of those longer term themes that we're participating in. We also think things like 5G build out, cloud computing, some of the bigger thematic trends uh, in the investment landscape still have merit and we're investing in some of those names as well. Yeah, you, you mentioned AbbVie as well. What, what makes that company and that stock attractive? I mean, this is J&J, we know. We know what they do, right? We, anywhere from Band-Aids to some of their other major treatments. AbbVie is one of these companies that kind of flies under the radar. It's not a household. You're not going to say, I'm going to go out and get some AbbVie this or AbbVie that. What do you like about it? Well, there's a couple of their drug names that are starting to become a little bit more household name. You see a lot of the commercials out there. And again, that's that sales network of theirs that can really help drive some of those names. They have a couple that are facing some patent cliffs coming up, but that's okay. We think that some of these newer drugs in the pipeline will help replace some of those revenues. So, you know, it isn't a household name necessarily, but some of those uh, individual drug names are starting to get some attention again and more of that marketing and sales element. All right. Outside of that, you've got a crown castle. I mean, we hear a lot about American Tower. And as far as I know, probably like healthcare, I doubt the cell phone is going away. Just a wild, just a wild hot take on my behalf. It, that seems like a good call. Uh, probably not going anywhere. Even with the conservative outlooks that we've seen from Crown Castle, you know, one of the things that we like about it, you have the 5G build out, but it, Take a look at the dividend, too. If there's something that's kind of consistent amongst the names that we like right now, the fact that they pay dividends. And this is one of those that even if it is a conservative outlook that they gave for next year, that dividend and the dividend growth is really attractive to us. Yeah, Crown Castle as well. And, um, and finally, we'll round it out on this Opportunity Monday. I just made up a name for the show, Microsoft. <laughs> Yeah, Microsoft, you know, that's one of those names that probably is in most people's portfolios one way or another, whether it's owned through mutual funds or individually. Um, and we like the cloud computing there. We like the balance sheet of Microsoft. Hard not to like the balance sheet of Microsoft. And so for those longer term investors, yeah, we'll have some volatility in the tech space. But owning a name like Microsoft is really important in our view. And last week is just a reminder that some of these growth names, you don't want to be absent the growth space. Because when market tides turn, they can turn pretty heavily. Yeah. And you see a name like Microsoft doing really well. They sure can.